Provide specialist advice on wine. In this unit you will learn the following. Advise customers on Australian and imported wines. Advise customers on appropriate wine and food choices. Determine and monitor wine quality. Develop and update wine knowledge. Advise customers on Australian and imported wines. When working in the hospitality industry, it's important that you have extensive knowledge of the wines available at your venue, so that you can assist customers with their choice. The level of assistance can range from naming the house white, to giving a detailed description of the taste, colour and texture of a wine, to recommending a style of wine to accompany a particular meal. When describing wine to a customer, there are many different terms that you should be familiar with. These include colour. Is the wine red, rosé or white? Basic taste. Is it a sweet wine or a dry wine? Source. Where does the wine come from? Is it Australian or imported? The viticulture used. What region or vineyard does it come from? Wine type. Is it a generic wine, or is it a varietal wine? Purity and strength. Is it pure or fortified? Quality and age. Is it a vintage wine or a non-vintage wine? Production methods. What techniques were used in the production? And finally, what style of wine is it? Aperitif, table, sparkling or dessert? If a customer asks for a recommendation... The first question to ask them is what type of wine do they drink? Then you can choose the most popular wine of that style from the menu. Be sure not to insult them by offering a wine that is either well above or well below their price range. The most popular wine is always a safe choice and a good starting point if they're not sure what they want. When offering the wine, give a description using the terms mentioned earlier and wait for the customer's decision. You may be required to describe the style of white wine that a customer has selected. Wines can be further classified into the following groups. White generic. White varietal. Red generic. Red varietal. A varietal wine, of course, is a wine made from one single variety. Riesling is a varietal wine. Any blends aren't necessarily varietal wine. So our Semillon Sauvignon Blanc is not a varietal, a straight varietal wine. If you're looking at generic wines, it's Riesling, Chardonnay, Shiraz, Cabernet, Pinot, those are all generic wines, unblemished by any other varieties. And we have our Gulf Station Riesling, quite an elegant wine. Gulf Station is wine made from 100% Yarra Valley fruit, so all the fruit comes from within the region. It's got a hint of sweetness, 5 to 6% residual sugar there, but uh, the acidity in it more than compensates for that sweetness. It's a wine style that is fairly light. Okay, it's very citrusy, very intense in flavour, very smooth. Sauvignon Blanc is another wine style that we have here, uh, fairly light, quite acidic, certainly not as sweet as Riesling, and a very popular wine as well. Chardonnay, well, they're full-bodied, slightly buttery, got a nutty taste to them as well. And then we have our Viognier, which is very similar, another wine that, if allowed to keep, will age for quite some time as well, but beautiful. It's got a slightly honey ginger aroma to it. Pinot, it's got such an elegant and a very distinctive aroma and taste to it. Pinot is really the most delicate and light of the red wine varieties. It's very easy to drink, very soft, traditionally very mellow variety. Pinot Gris is a white wine. It comes from the same grape variety, but Pinot Gris is a white grape and Pinot Noir is a red grape. The characteristics in Shiraz, well, you should be at least smelling this black currant, blackberry uh, aroma interlaced with a little bit of spiced white pepper. When you're tasting wine you should roll the wine around your mouth so you taste all the different senses around your palate. 
So with Shiraz, you get the spiciness as well as the acidity. In Cabernet Sauvignon, similarly, usually black currant or blackberry aromas, but that's interlaced with a cedary cigar box aroma to it as well. This is much richer in flavour and colour. You can see a lot more depth to it. Advise customers on appropriate wine and food choices. There are certain wines that do go well with particular types of food, but one of the things that I personally am a great advocate of is that if you enjoy a particular wine, whether it be white wine or red wine, with a particular type of food, then go for it. It should not never be rigidly adhered to. Normally, you'll find that red meat and red wine work well together. If you are looking to match something like chicken uh, with a wine, then I'd be looking at something uh, well, like Chardonnay. The lighter the type of food, then the lighter the wine. You really don't want a wine to overpower the food, neither do you want the food to overpower the wine. Lamb and Cabernet, or even lamb and Pinot, go extremely well. One of the great food and wine matches, of course, is duck with Pinot. If you're into steak, Cabernet, Shiraz, Big Shiraz works extremely well. Pastas normally lend themselves to medium-bodied white wines. Dessert wines go very well with fruit-based desserts. One of the things that you really need to do is to experiment oneself. Don't take it for granted that a particular food only goes well with one particular type of wine. That's just not the case. These are the general food groups that wines can be classified into. You will need to be familiar with the menu and the accompanying wines so that you can respond to any questions the customer may have. Remember that menus and wine lists change over time, so you'll be required to update this knowledge regularly. Promote wines that will enhance the combination of food and wine. While you should have a good general knowledge of food and wine matches, it is also a good idea to check with the chef at your venue for recommendations. You can also offer different wines depending on the occasion or season. Some wines are only produced at certain times of the year, while others, such as sparkling wines and champagne, are very popular with celebrations. Be aware of any contributing factors such as these when recommending a wine to customers. Determine and monitor wine quality. A very common error in wine appreciation is thinking that all wine improves in quality over time. This is not the case. While some wines improve with age, others are ready to drink as soon as they arrive at the venue. Do not make the mistake of serving an old bottle of wine if in fact it has lowered in quality. For example, a Cabernet Sauvignon wine ages very well, while most Pinot Noir should be drunk when they're very young. You must be familiar with the condition of all the wines stocked at your venue. Be sure to store all wines in the appropriate cellar and storing conditions. Different wines must be served at different temperatures. If served incorrectly, the texture and taste can be affected. Customers may also have a preference for the serving temperature. When possible, do your best to cater to their requests. Even with constant wine quality evaluation, you'll still need to be prepared for customer complaints. If they feel the wine has not been properly served or is of poor quality, you must do everything you can to attend to their problem. Well, one of the things that we do at the cellar door, of course, is that we test every wine that we open. Cork, because of the quality at the moment, is undergoing an enormous change and we've had far too many incidences of cork taint. Screw caps, on the other hand, are an interesting closure in, in the fact that if applied well, provide a non-taint um, solution to a cork. Uh, however, they're more susceptible to damage. From a packaging perspective, uh, I think screw caps are a higher risk application risks of the business. Corks are probably a lower risk from an application perspective, but they're probably a higher risk of a cork taint in the field. So in packaging, we're trying to find a balance between, between those two parameters. There are a number of faults that wine have got, 
principally oxidization and cork taint. There are others and those two are very obvious. We look to smell and taste each wine when it's open. If we have a bottle that is open from the previous night, we actually pump uh, the wine every night and we only use wine for two days so that uh, it is fresh and we will test the wine from the previous day to make sure that there is nothing wrong with it before offering it for tasting. You may be required to decant wines at your venue. This is the process of pouring wine from the bottle into a large glass jug for service. Check if this process is used at your venue.